Welcome to the Traders Help Desk Online videos. Um, in this video, I'm going to go through the market reports for the week of October 10th through the 16th so that I can plan my schedule for trading. Um, the first thing that calls my attention are a couple of red reports on the British pound. You have the Bank of England Governor King speaking, and then you have a bank holiday on the yen session as well as a red report on the Aussie. Now this is for Sunday, October 10th. And if I was going to trade, um, I would be very cautious with uh, a red British pound report and a red Aussie report. Now what does that mean? It means I would not trade the Aussie until after this 8.30 report and I would not trade the British pound until after the 7 p.m. report. The yen would be expected to move slow because it is a bank holiday. For Monday morning, I noticed that there is a bank holiday for the USD and the Canadian. We have very little market reports on the Euro. You can see there's one at 245. It's rated orange. I do not start trading until 3, so I'm okay on that. And on the Asia session that night, we do have some orange reports, but no red reports. Then for Tuesday, we do have a red British pound followed by an orange, uh, actually three orange reports and another tentative inflation report hearings scheduled for the British pound. Um, want to be a little bit cautious during that time. Also have the FOMC meeting minutes at 2 o'clock. That means that the market will come to a virtual standstill normally until that is out. Now, a lot of times you can trade up until around noon on FOMC meeting minute days, but uh, definitely nothing after that until this comes out. So, in summation, on Tuesday I would still get up and trade the Euro session. Just be cautious around 4.30 because of the British Pound report. They may also update this inflation report here, and so you'll need to keep a check on that. Okay, on Wednesday we just have one orange report on the Swiss franc. Um, you do have, and this is uh, kind of extraordinary, is the chairman is speaking at 4.10 a.m. And then you have a red uh, report on the British pound. Now the first thing that concerns me is what is he speaking about. And you can see that if you click on the folder it will explain what he is going to do. In this particular instance, he is going to be a participant in a panel discussion about business innovations. So that might not have that much effect on the market. The British Pound Red Report will affect the market. You do have an orange Euro report. And as long as you are aware that that report is happening, you should be fine. On the US dollar side, there are no red reports that day, so I would be okay to trade. But again, you will need to look at this during the week because they will change this when the uh, actual date comes out, and this could affect trading depending on what time it comes out. On Thursday, you have a couple of orange reports, nothing that would worry me too much on that side. But the PPI in the trade balance and unemployment claims definitely want to be out of the market for those. They will cause a lot of volatility in the market. And then at 11 o'clock you have the crude oil inventories, which I normally just trade through. On Friday you do have uh, two euro reports. Again, you have the federal chairman speaking. Again, I immediately look at the folder to see specifically are there any questions that he's going to be asked. In this case, it's not. He's uh, actually delivering a speech. So that, again, may not have much effect on the market. Then at 8.30, you do have three red reports on the U.S. dollar. Definitely do not want to be in the market for those. And then at 9.55, again, you have the preliminary University of Michigan consumer sentiment. Would not want to be in the market for that. So Friday morning, um, I would probably trade after the 9.55 report 
and I would trade London. So the only days that um, I would probably not trade London, um, maybe on uh, Tuesday I would not be trading the British pound, could trade the euro or the yen or one of the other currencies. Monday, um, probably not even going to get up for it because you have uh, three holidays on Monday. One is on the yen, one's on the Canadian, one's on the U.S. dollar. So those days I probably will not even get up to trade the market. I hope you enjoyed this. And remember we did add a Las Vegas seminar. It will be November 14th through the 16th. It will be held at the Hyatt Place. And you can check out our website for more details. It is www.tradershelpdesk.com. Thank you.